It's now been two weeks since Lubbock ISD faculty members were selected to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. KLBK's Olivia Whitehead found that many of those eligible have taken van advantage of those doses. Just how many employees have been vaccinated so far? As of today, over 500 LISD faculty members have been vaccinated. As essential workers, those eligible were quick to sign up and receive the first doses. And Terry, they say, say it gives them a little more peace of mind when going to work. Having the opportunity to keep doing what I'm doing, but knowing at the same time I'm going to be safer than I was before. And so that's a relief because took all the uh, safety protocol, but at the same time, you're, you're hoping that you don't get the COVID and that really made, made me feel a lot better when, I, when we got the vaccination. David Moody Jr. is one of the many LISD teachers eligible who opted in favor of getting the vaccine. I said my age and I consulted my, my doctors that, that, that uh, they highly recommended it. And so that really made me excited about getting it done. Alongside those 65 and older, other factors of eligibility include underlying health conditions, teachers working with pre-K to third grade students not required to wear masks, and those in special education. We're around so many kids every day with coaching and in the classroom, and not only uh, you wanted to protect yourself and, and you also want to protect them with any possible way that you possibly can. And good news, as more doses become available, they will be offered to other LISD employees. The State Department did announce late last week that all school staff are now included in 1B. But of course, we're working closely with the City of Lubbock Health Department on dosage availability. That's the key issue right now. Even with the limited availability, there has been a decline in positive cases, both in the city and in the school district. The vaccinations are definitely a sign of hope and something that we are excited about. With the vaccine helping lower the number of active cases, Terry, it's led to a positive domino effect, leading to less faculty off in quarantine, a decreased need for substitutes, and has given their school nurses the opportunity to help outside of the district.